I want to try this again. My computer's shutting off now. I'm going to be reviewing Hellraiser 7 Deader, which came out in 2004 and is directed by Rick Bota. The plot of this one is about a young female journalist, played by Cory Rear, <clears throat> who was sent to Bucharest, Romania, to investigate this ritualistic murder that she saw on a videotape in which a young woman was shot in the head and brought back to life by this man in a death cult called the Deaders, and the man's name is Winter. When she arrives to Romania, she's supposed to get to a lead. The lead is dead. And, but when she gets there, she finds a puzzle box and also a package. Uh, she opens the package, watches the tape, and she opens the limit configuration, and she starts seeing a bunch of weird things. Then she is sent, she is, um, she finds the debtors' hiding spot, their location, where they perform their rituals at, and they say, we want you because you're the only one that can open this puzzle box. And when you open this puzzle box, we want you, we want to take over hell and replace the Cenobites. And of course, that doesn't work well in their favors. Now, this is my second time watching the movie. And this time around, I really... I thought the movie was pretty good this time around. The main thing I liked was the set decoration. Uh, <coughs> at, they really show the nasty and dirty side of as we get in London and throughout the rest of the movie, Romania. And like the nasty, dirty side of drug culture. Um, <coughs> One scene I liked was when she went goes Corey Rear's character goes into the dead woman's apartment and <coughs> it is just filthy. And you could just smell what it possibly smells like in there. There's just dishes piled up, grime and dirt like every like everywhere. There's roaches all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, um I also like the sex party train thing that the one lead she goes to named Joey, who is kind of like this, just a, a sex addict kind of guy, but he's kind of nice because he doesn't really want her to delve into this because she, he don't want her to get hurt, but it really shows like the decadent side of, on that train. You know, it's blacked out with newspaper, and there's just a lot of weird stuff going on on the train. Um, I also like <coughs> where the debtors are headquartered at. It's like this deserted kind of building that when you go in, kind of looks like a dungeon. I thought that was really good. Um, now, the one thing I do like about this movie is Corey Rear's character. And she, Corey Rear as an actress does an amazing job in this movie. Um, she can scream and she can act. Like, she is one of the best actresses in this movie. And I don't understand why if she has that kind of acting chops, why she's in a straight to DVD Hellraiser movie. Cause there's this one amazing scene where she wakes up and she finds a, na a knife stabbed in her back. And she goes into the bathroom because she doesn't know what's going if what's going on is real or not, you know. So she starts. She sees the knife sticking out of the back. She starts freaking out, and then she's trying to pull it out and stuff. And there's just blood and stuff everywhere. And she's just screaming her lungs out. And it's a really great scene. Uh, the guy who plays her, uh, boss, I think he did a good job, too. Um, I'm not sure what his name is, but he doesn't seem like a type that would be in a Hellraiser movie. He's, like, a very prim, proper English kind of guy. And, I mean, it just doesn't seem like a type of role he would take 
And they're like, and the guy who plays Joey too, he does a really good job. I'm surprised they had some good actors in this movie. Um, there's not much for gore effects in this. Uh, the only, besides the knife in the back scene in the bathroom, and, um, when the chains come out and pull her, and, and then there's another scene I just had in my head that was pretty good. Oh, when she stumbled across the dead bo body in the apartment, that looked really good. It looked like it was just like a fresh dead body, and it looked really creepy looking. Like it's, it was like kind of like purplish and stuff, and its eyes were rolled back into the back of its head, and it looked really creepy. Um, <coughs> now, I would recommend this movie. It's not that bad of a movie if you, I mean, it really has nothing to do with the hell other, with the Hellraiser franchise, which 5 and 6 really didn't either. But, anyways, that's my review.